What's up guys? So I know that I have uh, another video out there that's called It's Been a Rough Week, but this week's really been rough. Um, so some of the people that watch my channel already know this because like they're, they're my friends and stuff, but uh, one of my good friends, John Patrick Cruz, he uh, recently passed away on Wednesday and that's just like throwing a wrench in the entire week it was just it was it was awful to hear about that he uh was visiting family and friends in the philippines and uh from what i've heard he had sleep apnea and he must have went to sleep and had cardiac arrest in his sleep and he passed away um which is just so sad because he was just an awesome guy and he was only 25 years old he had so much so much life ahead of him and it's it's really sad and to be honest the few months before he passed away um i noticed some changes in him and i i don't know like maybe if you would have seen a doctor for it he could have prolonged his life but the changes that I noticed is he was like tired all the time and his birthday was actually he passed away on August 17th and his birthday was actually July 17th on his birthday like his birthday party I remember having a conversation with him and he was literally just falling asleep while having a conversation with me like he, he was just so drained of energy and so tired and it was it was just it's sad it's really sad that one of my good friends is is gone now and i'll never have the chance to talk to him again i'll never have the chance to see him i'll never have the chance to have him tell me some some joke or something like that he's the one that taught me uh a few jokes in Tagalog that I've used um, I'm not gonna say it in Tagalog because my Tagalog's not that good but he taught me how to say are you a table because I want to get on top of you so that's just it's it's a silly joke but it's it's kind of funny you know like he was just a funny guy um, so yeah that's that's that happened on Wednesday um, I went to work and work was kind of hard that day um, and then I got done with work and I got in my car and my check engine light came on which you know it's not the end of the world like that's not as bad as a friend passing away I choose the check engine light over a friend passing away any day um, but my check engine light came on and took it to AutoZone it was a transmission sensor and high transmission temperature and stuff so I need I took it to the took it to a shop they told me that they couldn't do anything because it was a sealed transmission so I had to take it to the dealership dealership says that I need new transmission fluid a new transmission temperature sensor new transmission coolant and I need new brake fluid so all that being done is going to be co costing like twelve hundred dollars which i really don't have right now because i'm going on a trip in less than 18 days uh it's going to cost like two to three grand more than what i've already put into it because i'm leaving the country for two weeks so yeah that's that's just really really tough to spend twelve hundred dollars on something and then on top of that my car is kind of old and it's got a turbo so it's uh the turbo is going bad so it's it's consuming oil so i have to put in about a quart of oil every month and i know that it's just going to get worse from there and i know that replacing a turbo is not cheap so i i'm i'm really struggling because like like do I get it fixed? Do I spend the $1,200 to get it fixed? 
and then a few months later have the turbo go completely bad and have it just like destroy oil or do I sell the car right now as is to the dealership and look for a new car with a 10 year 100,000 100, mile powertrain warranty and a bumper to bumper warranty like I still don't have that much money to put down a down payment so if it really comes down to it I might sell the bike I might try to sell the bike for extra cash and yeah put it towards a new car um, so right now I'm, I'm actually driving to the dealership uh, to look at cars and see what they'll give me for trade-in value for my car so yeah wish me luck um, I'm not gonna buy anything right now obviously because it's it's a big decision to make especially since I don't have that, that much money for a down payment um, so yeah uh, it's uh, it's definitely definitely been a rough week well I'm here so there's my car over there I still have to clean it out. I haven't cleaned it out yet. It's kind of a mess, but um, it's in good condition. But like I said, it's going to cost twelve hundred dollars to repair. Ah, uh, man. Okay, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna take off all this gear. So this is what I got right here, and uh, it's not what I was expecting, but hoping to keep my payment around 250. You can only get 8,000 for the car trade-in, and then I got to come up with six grand, um, six grand cash down, which is going to be hard. Um, the bike I could only get 3,000 for at since it's the wrong time of the year for it, so. Yeah, it's just not was that not what I was expecting. Um, I got that trip coming up, so I need need to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, I I'm looking into getting a new car, but it's just it's just not gonna not gonna be easy. It's not an easy decision because. I don't have that much in savings right now. I got that trip coming up. It's gonna be a lot of money. Uh, I'm trying to get get my payments around 250 a month because I want it to be something that I don't have to worry about it breaking the bank every month, you know? So yeah, it's just, uh, it's just hard. Then I got insurance on top of that, so right now insurance is good. Man, it's a lot to think about, you know, like, I'm probably not making any sense, I'm probably just babbling, I'm trying to, like, work through my thought process on what I should do, what's the best decision to do. I really don't want to get a new car but I know with everything wrong with my car I probably should because once that turbo goes out I'm not gonna get anything for the trade-in value at all um, she said the, the I'm getting 8,000 for the trade-in just because the wheels are pitted and the front bumpers cracked um, which the front bumper costs like two thousand dollars alone and uh, the, the wheels are just in really bad shape. Um, plus the tires aren't that great, the brakes aren't that great. It's just, it's just a lot. Man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. I'm freaking out. 